Well, we've all done it. I know I've, I've done it all too often, mm -hmm. and that's leaving the house to spend the day outdoors without putting on sunscreen. It's common not knowing the damage that goes uh, deeper than just the sunburn. One upstate woman is telling her story tonight with the hope of shedding light on a very common and very serious summer danger. WYFF News Force Allison Powell for your health tonight. About one person every hour. That's how often someone in the U.S. is diagnosed with melanoma. Amber Glenn is one of them. First they said, you, you know, you have cancer. And of course, you know, anytime I was just boo-hoo and I was at work when they called. A mole she'd had all her life led to her diagnosis and eventually surgery. So they had to go all the way down to the muscle wall and then get three inches on either side clear. So I have about a six inch scar um, about right here on my leg. But that wasn't the end. With only 6% chance of ever returning, nearly two years later, it came back. When I first heard it, I was just kind of uh, in shock. You know, you don't know what to do. Glenn had surgery to remove 19 of her lymph nodes, and now she has to go to the dermatologist every three months to monitor it. Bon Secours Oncology Dr. Robert Siegel says he sees many cases of melanoma that regular skin checks would prevent, especially in younger patients that go to the tanning bed. We are tempting fate by exposing ourselves to those rays which cause us damage. Dr. Siegel says a skin test is cheap and easy, but could save you thousands down the road. Something Glenn says she wished she had known. Looking back at it, had I had known or had somebody had told me that this is affecting young women and men all over, I would much rather be subconscious about my white legs than subconscious now about two foot long scars on my leg. Allison Powell, WIFF News 4 in Greenville. Now, one thing to remember, Dr. Siegel says that it, you should always put on sunscreen when going outside for an extended period of time. Also says the SPF should be over 15, it should be waterproof, and he recommends buying clothing with SPF in the fibers as well.